All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, I didn't expect to be talking about this. I kind of figured the entire Chris Chan thing was kind of over with, right? Chris Chan ended up getting arrested for the entire situation and is facing a charge for it. And I thought that was kind of going to be just how everything ended, right? Uh, an unfortunate end to this entire saga, but a lot of new developments have kind of unfolded in this whole situation, and it's pretty shocking, man. It's pretty disgusting what we're about to take a look at here, and I hope that this is the final wrap-up to this whole thing, because honestly, it's just such a dark and sad topic in all reality, and... I feel like hopefully this is the end of it, right? Like nothing else will come from this, but Chris Chan uh, recently appeared in court after being charged and to kind of wrap up how that entire thing went, uh, Chris Chan was very disruptive to the courtroom, apparently stomping their feet, which interrupted the new attorney that was hired to represent Chris Chan and then stated loudly that they needed to get everything back home and wouldn't feel safe proceeding until then. It was never really detailed what exactly at home was necessary to make Chris Chan feel comfortable in this entire thing, but considering that in most pictures and videos that we see of Chris Chan, the only thing you really see in the background is like toys and action figures, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that basically Chris Chan needs their toys in order to get through court after being arrested for sexually assaulting their dementia-ridden mother repeatedly, uh, according to the leaked audio that we heard. Now that, of course, is not the actual important part of this video, just a little beginning detail, but, you know, actually, to kind of continue on this, that leaked audio has become the center of a new massive development in this entire story, and it's actually very insane, okay? It's very absurd. So it appears that in this entire Chris Chan saga, there was something that wasn't being told that adds a lot to this story, and it's so upsetting to see, man. Like, it's so depressing to read and for this to be part of the story now, but insane new Chris Chan news. So basically, the lady who recorded Chris Chan's confession is a psychopath who had been encouraging him for over a year to do this to his mom. She never intended to publish the recordings, but instead to use them as blackmail to have Chris Chan kill themselves and film it but someone she sent it to on Discord leaked it. She has adopted multiple animals and killed them, including boiling a hamster alive and overfeeding her cat to shit everywhere in her apartment because the smell turns her on. She has already convinced one guy to commit suicide at the university she goes to, as well as getting banned from Reddit and having a police visit for trying to search for CP, LOL. Her father is some military guy and her mom is a secret service agent. Absolute fucking insanity, man. Now, during the leaked audio from Chris Chan, you can hear a woman that he's conversing with constantly throughout it, right? You know, she's asking about details, she's talking to him about the experience, right? Like, having a full-blown conversation about Chris Chan basically essaying the dementia-ridden mother that was 80 years old, okay? Having a conversation as if it was completely normal, right? Just talking about it like, you know, it's just something that happens. You know, everybody does it, right? You know, you get in bed with your mom, you know? A little tickle tummy time and it just kind of, you know, pops out, right? But it turns out she was fucking basically trying to get Chris Chan to commit suicide and has actually gotten somebody to do this before, right? Just an absolute mental case. And it's kind of sad that this is the case, right? Because... Obviously, Chris Chan is autistic. High-functioning, but autistic, so... That was already a people's, uh, reason, I guess, for an excuse, but... Apparently now, this is just, like, a part of the story now, and it just fucking blows my mind that someone could be this sick, twisted, and perverted. So, apparently this audio was never meant to see the light of day, and... It's kind of fucking insane to think about the possible story timeline had this random person on Discord who she sent this to not leaked this audio. So she quite literally could have had this audio used against Chris Chan. We could have seen, you know, in the news one day, hey, Chris Chan fucking killed themselves. And we would have never really known that this audio was behind it. She's apparently just some sort of fucking psycho that likes getting people to kill themselves, okay? So pretty insane part of the story here, man. So... I don't really know, you know, what to say about that, right? This is an absolute just disaster of a story at this point, man. Like, this has quickly become one of the most insane stories in internet history, right? I can't think of many, if any, other situation that has even come close to this. 
But then it turns out, man, that people are actually still trying to defend Chris Chan for this, right? So, first off, I think it's important that we go ahead and address the fact that this does not make what Chris Chan did okay. Chris Chan, yes, is autistic, but he is high-functioning autistic, okay? So, I don't really see that as an excuse, you know? Yeah, Chris Chan had autism, but at the same time, they knew what the fuck they were doing, right? It wasn't like they just can't make any sort of decisions for themselves. Just so far on the spectrum or whatever, right, that they just don't know how to act and they can't control themselves from just acting completely insane. Chris Chan is still completely responsible for what happened. I mean, no excuse, but even then, adding this context in, it's absolutely insane, and this woman should see jail time simply because of what's happened here. Intending to blackmail someone into killing themselves after already getting somebody to do it, and, you know, trying to look at CP, just an absolute honest menace to society, a danger to the nation, a threat to the population, an issue to the fucking world, if you know what I'm saying, so... Once again, people are kind of like trying to brush off what Chris Chan did now because, well, everything that's kind of unfolded, but I saw one man that was absolutely fucking psychotic, so isn't it just so fucking convenient that this allegedly incriminating audio pinning a sensational sex crime on a mentally unstable trans woman who, again, has been severely bullied and emotionally tortured online as entertainment for years just happened to be leaked now? How fascinating that goading a mentally ill trans woman into making sensational statements culminated in her arrest for incest right when the right wing and TERFs are fighting to criminalize trans women more generally. Must be coincidence, right? Yep, yeah, because you know, the, the politicians and everybody who were against trans people were just like, hmm, you know, how can we start an internet campaign against trans people? Could we just literally try and write fucking legislation against them? Or find better, more convenient, and more effective ways to socially oppress this group of people? Or should we fake an entire audio clip where the voice sounds literally identical to the person being accused, make up an insane fucking backstory, and then put it all online, and then it somehow lead to criminal charges that still to this point have yet to be contested. I have, you know, been reading article after article, right, about Chris Chan going to court, about Chris Chan, you know, first appearance or whatever, right? Never once have I seen any sort of statement from Chris Chan where they say, hey, that wasn't me in the recording, I didn't say that. So Chris Chan isn't even fucking denying that this all happened. But yeah, it's just a massive conspiracy against trans people, right? Because what's more likely, you know? Chris Chan, who's autistic and apparently became trans to quote-unquote expand their dating options, actually committed sexual assault against their dementia-ridden mother that they live in the same house with, and then admitted it to a manipulative fucking psychopath woman who was trying to get Chris Chan to kill themselves, and it got leaked by somebody else, or there's just a massive conspiracy, it never actually happened, and Chris Chan is now a fucking victim of a crazy global conspiracy. Yeah, which one sounds a little bit more logical in this entire fucking situation? And to be honest with you, this tweet just comes off as saying, yeah, if you're transgender and you get bullied online, you can basically just fucking commit incest against your mentally unavailable mother, right? Uh, th that's what it reads to me. Absolute fucking insanity, man. I, I don't even understand, like, what's what, what this is even supposed to be saying other than just making crazy fucking assumptions, but I don't know. Hopefully this is the end of the whole saga. I don't really want to have to hear any more about it. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well, talking about Chris Chan and signing out.